Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial. In this video, I'll talk about grid and snap. So I'm gonna go and open the drawing. Let's start a new drawing. So, grid and snap allow you to draw object constrained in space. So go down on the status bar and toggle on these two features, grid and a snap. To control the spacing, right click on a snap and then choose snap setting. This opens up the drafting setting dialog box and we are on the snap and a grid tab. So here we've got a shortcut keys for snap on is F9, for the grid is F7. So you can turn them off and on by pressing F9 or F7 for grid. So as you can see that snap X spacing is half a millimeter and Y spacing is half a millimeter as well. And grid is the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go change grid spacing to 1 millimeter. Press 1, press tab, change this to 1 as well. And the major line, I'm going to change it to 10. So if you were using inches in feet, it would be best to use 12 inches every major line. So on the right, as you can see, these lines are the major lines. And inside them, there are the minor lines. And down here I've got the grid behavior. I'm going to leave adaptive grid check so that the grid adaptivity is limited when you zoom out. So down here I've got another option allows subdivision below the grid spacing. That means basically it won't subdivide smaller than one centimeter. So on the left you're going to make sure that we have grid snap and rectangular snap selected. And then I'm going to go and press OK. So now on the drawing area what we're seeing is we're seeing a major line every 10 centimeters and inside we got a box with minor lines which should be 1 centimeter. So as you can see I've got 10 boxes here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means 1 centimeter is basically a box. So now if I zoom in as you can see that grid does not subdivide below a centimeter. So if I zoom out at certain points, we cannot see individual centimeter boxes anymore. We're just looking at every 10 centimeters. So I'm gonna zoom back in so I could see the smaller one centimeter box. This gives us good visual indication, just like graph paper does, of the regular organization of spaces. So let's go and select the line command and I come down to my drawing area. If I move my cursor, as you can see, it's jumping on every centimeter that's because of snapping is on so it's basically snapping to every centimeter so now as you can see I can snap to the corner intersection and I can snap to the middle of this one centimeter as well so now if I draw a line and start from here and I just select the second point about here and down here so now basically now what's the dimension of this line without measuring it, without knowing it because every major line is a 10 centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish drawing a rectangle and I press C to close and it will make a rectangle. So it can be nice to use snap in situation where your geometry happens to conform to such a scheme and I would say generally that's rare. Unless you're making mechanical parts that just happen to come in half centimeter increments. I will explain some more flexible approach to grid and snapping in future videos. So let's go and draw another line here. I'll start from here. And if I move my cursor you can see that I can't draw it to any place other than this special grid. Well let's say I want to draw a line to some other arbitrary point. So what I have to do is, I have to come to the status bar and turn off this snapping drawing grid. To click on it and it will turn off. You can even press, hold on and check the shortcut command again, it's F9. So if you press F9, it will turn on snap and then if you press again, F9, it will turn off snap. So now the cursor moves smoothly and I can click anywhere I want. So alternately what we can do we can actually hide the grid and you can use snap. Even the grids are not showing but basically snapping is on. So if I go and draw a line, though I don't see grid anymore but snapping is on so it's still operative and I can, you can see that if I draw a line 
The cursor is not smooth, so I cannot draw wherever I want. So it's gonna snap to every minor box, which is one centimeter. So there you have it, grid and snap two aids that assist when you are creating objects that happen to conform to a special grid. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video and subscribe to my channel.